FM and AM radios have been out there for decades, and despite the fact that we now have the internet, analog radio is still frequently used. But how exactly do AM and FM radio work? AM and FM radio both rely on the same basic principle. There's a transmitter and a receiver. The transmitter sends out electromagnetic radiation, which can then be picked up by the receiver. These radio waves can carry information, such as music or the sound of a person's voice. Storing information in a radio signal is what we call modulation. AM radio and FM radio both use a different type of modulation. AM stands for amplitude modulation and FM stands for frequency modulation. First of all, let's take a look at an AM radio transmitter. The AM radio transmitter constantly produces a high frequency radio signal, let's say 100 kilohertz. Normally that radio signal is just a nice constant 100 kilohertz signal. Nothing weird here. If you would receive this signal, you'd hear nothing. However, now a radio announcer starts talking into the microphone. The microphone takes the sound waves produced by the voice and translates them into an electrical signal. This low frequency signal enters the transmitter. The transmitter now takes the signal and then it adjusts the amplitude of the high frequency radio signal according to the waveform of the low frequency signal. So this way, a low frequency sound waveform can be encoded in a high frequency radio signal in the form of amplitude changes, hence amplitude modulation. The signal can then get picked up by a receiver which translates these changes in amplitude back into a low frequency audio signal, which can then get amplified, sent to a speaker and played back. The main disadvantage of AM radio is interference. A lightning strike or other electronic devices can produce electromagnetic radiation that can change the amplitude of the signal. Since AM radio relies on amplitude for carrying the information, this interference will get converted into sound by the receiver, which is what we call noise. Then there is also the FM radio. An FM radio transmitter works in a different way. Just like an AM transmitter, an FM transmitter sends out a constant high frequency radio signal. Let's just say 100 kHz again. But when the radio person starts talking, something different happens. Instead of slightly changing the amplitude of the signal, the transmitter slightly changes the frequency of the signal. So in an FM transmitter, the audio waveform gets encoded in the radio signal in the form of slight changes in the frequency. An FM receiver can pick up that signal and translate these slight changes in frequency back into a low frequency audio signal. The advantage of FM radio is that even if the amplitude increases due to interference, it doesn't really matter since an FM receiver only cares about frequency and not about the amplitude of the signal. The remarkable thing about these two types of radios is their simplicity. They can operate using just analog components. There are no computers, CPUs or logic gates required for an old-fashioned radio to work. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.